It wasn't my idea, and um, my editor, um, who's a wonderful poet, Jill Belofsky, has a son who's dyslexic, and she heard that I had given a commencement talk at a Churchill School, which is a well-known local New York school for LD, um, and um, once I did, she got a hold of the three-page um, talk I gave called My Dyslexia and she thought I should write a book called that. I am still in shock. I don't know how to react to it. I mean, the poet in me is highly resentful. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't, even with a major prize, you don't get this kind of response. So this is quite something else. I mean, this is, um, yes. The, uh, every now and then I'm asked to give a poetry reading and. I'm always grateful. <laughs> this is, um, I, yes, I'm being cast into a role that's n quite new to me, and um, I'm moved by it. I was put in a dummy class. I was kicked out of two schools. I, there, I was held back. I was seen as hopeless, and I accepted that. I was put in a class of three. Um, we couldn't learn how to read, and not only not read, math, anything. I thought multiplication tables meant many tables, multi-tables. I really did. I didn't learn anything, and kids would make fun of me, and I'd hit them. I, there was a lot of fighting, and I was asked to leave one school because of that. And, you know, at a, at a certain age, <clears throat> when kids don't like to be seen as being different, and they put up a, they make fun of you. And it, so there was an awful lot to adjust to. There was a, a young woman at an award ceremony who had won a major prize from NASA Space Center for physics. She was 16, Melissa Kay, and I write about her. And she got up there and she said dyslexia was her secret weapon, that she knew that the competition was very smart, but that they hadn't overcome years and years of not knowing how to read and having to go through her struggle. They were just applying their high intelligence to a science problem. She was coming at it with a certain strength, a survivor's strength. And she knew she had an edge and she did, she won. So it's the same feeling that, yes, writing poetry and often writing 200 versions of a poem over several years is hard. But it's kid stuff sometimes compared to what I have to go through to get myself to even try to write it. Understand the, the advantages of dyslexia, that, that there will come a point in many cases where you and the child wouldn't trade places with someone who didn't, doesn't have it because they, what they would be giving up would be too dear to them.